to give a presentation about my project for H plus Pedia. I was, what, I was thinking what to call it. I call it joining the transhumanists. Well, no, we don't have membership. But I thought I'd go with becoming a transhumanist because it's actually really difficult to become a transhumanist in this day and age. In the sense of so much jargon to know, there's people, there's networking. It goes have a lot of history, and frankly, it's quite it's not the easiest thing to, thing to do. So I set about solving this problem, and I'm going to share show you my main project about this. And this is who I am. I am a cyber and security researcher. This is my primary thing I do as part of my IT job. This is Admin. I am a uh, pirate digital rights activist. So if, when I have a problem in my life, I do two things. One, I found a political party, and two, I write wikis. So this is my second time at that. At this, I've been involved in Pirate Party UK, and I extensively manage a number of number of wikis. And this is my transhumanist wiki. And over the last few years, I've been I'm a futurist um, for A Plus Pedia, and I've been co-founded a Transhumanist Party UK along with David. I'm not be focusing on that so much. That was a somewhat reactionary move in response to issues of result. And if you ask me about transhumanist politics, um, but instead I'm talking about what I've actually built on most in the, in the last few years. Okay, so I I ask myself every now and then. Because people ask me, like I'm about transhumanists, they say, "What is it?" I said, oh, well, it's this complicated thing involving all sorts of ideas from human enhancement, artificial intelligence, life extension, uh, futurist ethics. And they said, it's great, where can we find more about that? And I was like, well, uh, you can read some of uh, David Pearson's fantastic essays, or you can watch a uh, talk by, by um, Elon Musk, or you can uh, read the latest uh, happening about student intelligence. And they say, yeah, but where can I learn about this in just a few minutes? And it's like, this, uh, this question is actually really hard to answer. Um, even the Wikipedia pages for many of these subjects would take quite a long time to digest and are very, very technical. I'm unable to answer a few questions reliably any, any, of the, any of these issues. And this is the problem I found again and again and again. The more people I come across, I say, yes, I'm into transhumanism. They have questions, questions, questions. I didn't have the answer to them. And without, unless they had a like, good enough time for me to do sit and down and talk for half an hour. So um, I ended up, um, I went, well, there, was a, there was a gap in the platform for this. I started um, writing down some of the key areas which I thought I could explain to people. And I thought, well, you know, there's only a fine amount of areas in transhumanism that aren't there, right? There's your human orientation science, longevity, and the futurism. Um, so I started with that. I thought this would be a good, good uh, platform to, to, to work with. At this point, I have to give thanks to David Wood for building the, the core of A Plus Pedia, which is a project from Humanity Plus. Um, but I started filling it with these key transhumanist ideas and I started building on them. So I'm just going to talk a few about few, some of the projects I've run on it. So I thought, well, that's too simple. There's much more to the philosophical and technological trends in the movement from there. So let's uh, build this up. Okay, then. So we have a number of areas of overlapping uh, interests and such, like extensionists and the transhumanists. Not all transhumanists are like extensionists. And we have the biohackers and the singularitarians. And this still wasn't working. I really, and I was building, writing page after page and interlinking them and categorizing them. And I realized that this, I still don't understand transhumanism. I don't understand who's involved and what shape it is. Ultimately, I'm not spending too much time on it. I reached this. So, <laughs> this, um, this, you can find this on, you can find this on HBSpedia. This is the, currently the latest version of the uh, free modes interaction of logism, self modificationism and futurism, including transhumanism areas like cryonex cosmism, um, concept of digital cells, mind uploading, uh, body modification, um, uh, longevity research, and so on and so forth. Um, do go on to HBSPD and check this out. Every single uh, idea has its own article, its own, own description. So this is one of the, I, um, I've created quite, quite a few projects on this side. This is, this is, just, this is just, one, just one of them. And I'm going to explain why, why I did it, and what I've, what I've achieved, and what this might mean for you. So, you <laughs> Guys might be familiar with this guy. Um, Wikipedia. Um, Wikipedia is great. I use it all the time. I, I, I'm sure everyone in this room uh, likes to use Wikipedia. Wikipedia is not a place for original research. Original, Wikipedia is not a place for fringe ideas. You might say, no, these ideas aren't fringe. We all know about them. But in this concept of Wikipedia visibility guidelines, transhumanist ideas are fringe ideas not covered in notable sources. Um, these days, Zoltan has talked about a number of issues. Uh, James Hughes does some great publications on the ac academic side. But suffice to say, you can't put those transhumanist ideas into Wikipedia. They're not notable. And the ideas which fit into them, well, they're not very good summations of transhumanist ideas. 
Um, they might be, you know, an article of Elon Musk, for example, will have pages and pages about his involvement in PayPal and business ventures, and only a kind of few lines about um, his involvement in global augmentation and superintelligence, for example. So that doesn't answer the question, what does Elon Musk think about transhumanism and superintelligence? So again, this is why I needed a place to do this. This is the home page right now of HSPDR. I'm quite proud of it. I'm going to show you a bunch of uh, key articles and examples of things I've, I've done it. Um, this is a dynamic page featuring the usual things of featured articles, uh, random articles, categorizations, and so on and so forth. Um, it serves as a portal for anyone who wants to find out about transhumanism to get started straight away in any, any vein. Um, it works in a number of areas and it gets a regular amount of traffic. I will show you some of the projects at the moment. Um, this is a snippet. I've written a complete history of transhumanism, right away from the sort of prehistory through modern, modern day. This has never been written before. Um, everything is fully cited. You can find out about the role of, um, of FM, of Natasha Beats Moore, the HP Institute, St. Eric University, early Elon Musk, and so on and so forth. You, can find, um, you may notice there's a link, mix of blue and red links. So every single thing in blue will be covered in more detail. You can find out about the impact of the Hellenistic. Uh, imperative, what is the Journal of Transhumanist Sport, what was the original of the Transhumanist Met Manifesto, you can find this out. Not everything is finished, but um, more of it is than isn't. I've even done some projects such as uh, rescuing the XGP Institute archive. Many of you uh, have been around for many years, and this is your formative uh, thing on the main, main list. Um, it's not fully fully there, but we have, um, uh, thanks to uh, Julia Fisco, um, we have, uh, and all of myself, we have, we can complete actually in the archives are available here, which is uh, which is really, really, really good. And it's taken me ages to read all of this, and I haven't read it all, I've compiled it all. And uh, I have time to read everything. I don't have time to work out. People say this is important, it's here. I do a lot of steel manning, um, so uh, a lot of truck grandchildren can be quick to dismiss their, uh, their opponents as death lists or uh, inevitabilists in some way. Um, I do sort of taxonomies of argument issues, they're fully, yeah, fully cited and refuted in some cases. I produce diagram, diagrams such, such as this. Um, I produce them with the aim to disseminate them as infographics because they're handy um, to, to share online like, like that. But they're all backed up by full arguments which are from, from a sort of full sources. I've done similar ones for against life extension. Again, if you are um, not too many transhumanists are very poor at understanding or characterizing that of their opposition and will you know, again characterize opposition as fear-mongering Luddites, for example, when, when actually there's a number of uh, legitimate arguments which uh, one should be able to enumerate for to counter and in some cases see to see the margin from out of the ground in order to be taken seriously. What I hate being is being characterized as a utopian and I when hence I get ahead of this. Um, if you actually want to know what the state of transhumanist politics is right now, this is as far as I'm aware of the definitive of the list. I think James might be working on a more up to date version. You can find a complete inventory of all the organizations, their social media presence, their websites, their alliances, their uh, details, founders, politics, controversies. Um, it's the only place you can find it if you want to keep up with uh, transhuman politics. Well, first of all, good luck. And secondly, that you'll probably, probably want to leave this. So uh, I recommend that. Yes, even the definitive article in Zoltan is found to be found, including the large section on community controversies. It's fully, yes, you can find out why he wants to trip you, you trip refugees, why uh, we think it's probably a bad idea. Um, but again, he was probably out as a Wikipedia, it's not considered noticeable. And uh, if you want to say, why, oh, Zoltan is found, no, oh, you support him, right? Because you're a transhumanist to say, well, it's complicated. This is the resource I built in order to explain that it's complicated part. So you can actually, uh, and again, I've been cited back to the original discussions, articles, and so on and so forth. So you can one can offer that qualified support, as is, is good. My articles, such as this one on deathism, has done very well, I believe. Um, if you put deathism to Google, H plus P uh, is the number one hit right now. Um, a number of issues around uh, jargon, H plus P will be a major hit. So you can actually try and say, what is death A people know this will attract new users. Now, I've attempted to create an accurate uh, descriptivist definition of, of what, what death is. It is. So, uh, anyway, it's including its critiques and its use of, use of, use of utility and so on and so forth. Um, I highly recommend, again, if you're going to uh, be cautious about calling people deathless and whatnot, you understand um, what, why this may backfire in some cases. 
and you see other people doing it, make sure they're using it in a constructive fashion. And I've done so I have a lot of jargon and stuff. I'm a, I'm consider myself a descriptivist in the sense that I will tell people how words are being used and what people are saying. I try not to add too much of my own judgment, but of course my as the principal contributor to the project, you'll see a lot of myself coming through. But I, that's why I want more feedback, so it's more, more neutral. When you um, start categorizing these papers, I've got, again, there are hundreds upon hundreds of articles on this, from concepts, organizations, people, you get to uh, categories. So, for example, I have a, have a decent, not, if not, not comprehensive, but decent list of all life extensions and organizations. Every now and then I'll talk to someone in the sphere and I'll say, look, you know, have you, have you heard of these people? Have you been in touch with these people? And they're like, I haven't even heard of them. So brilliant, get in touch. This is my list, I will update you after the list. And I try to disseminate this to anyone who, who's interested. I highly recommend you do that in the sphere that you're interested as well. Again, my nationality. Um, all the key people are characterized by nationality. You know about who's available in your country. Um, we don't just have to be talking Ray Kurzweil, Ray Kurzweil, Ray Kurzweil. We can actually talk about who can you actually see, who you can get down, whose uh, conferences can you, can you attend, who should you follow in the media. I put all these, I put all these people, people there. Highly, highly recommended. Um, they also have some basic uh, multilingual portals as well, um, in, uh, in Spanish, German, Russian, and so on and so forth. Um, I really like to contribute to the non-English languages as well. As you know, Humanity Plus has been trying to get its content into um, to non-English languages for quite some time and hasn't had enough success. Um, this would be a platform I, I, I've uh, prepared for that, so I, I, I would support that would be great. I, even do, I do a lot of entertainment. This is a popular YouTuber, Xuvier. He does some really funny, really great uh, videos which serves as a great introduction to transhumanism. Um, I, in, I index them all, I link, interlink them. You know, you know, um, references to Broken's Basilisk here and Black Mirror there, which I've I've done, concept of aliens and existential risk. You can once by the time you've written a certain amount of articles, you can interlink these things, it's quite, quite rich pages, where which are full of interlinks, which is really, 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 really great. I recommend him. Um, other people such as Rob, Rob Miles, I know in the UK, at, uh, AI research doing uh, uh, doing videos on AI safety, <laughs> highly recommend, recommend him. I'm also involved in the uh, Less Wrong Rational <laughs> bit. I run their wiki, wiki.lesswrong.com. I'm organizing that as well. I like to wiki, wiki too. And uh, people like Tom Scott. But you know, if you know a YouTuber or an uh, influential person, they're doing stuff, posting uh, transhumanism, aligned values, or things like that, why not write an article? Or let me know when I write an article and we'll get around to it. Um, you know, it's not. It's, you know, you can make someone a transhumanist who can mind gathering them out of things they've said and saying, look how this person supports the idea. And this can really be a platform for promoting, uh, promoting these things, not just consuming. I, I, I really like, um, I am involved in the Facebook groups a lot, which I index as well. So I collect, I collect a lot of the human stuff as well. It's, um, so there's some really funny stuff going on. It's a lot about robots and biomechanicism and such, but it's, it's, it's fun stuff. And you know, for, for younger people particularly, it can be really good to create, to create some stuff which um, engages people at different, different levels. Um, you don't have to be get talking seriously about, ooh, these are the really cutting edge ethical issues in human enhancements. You can say, isn't it great? I want to be a cyborg. If you're taking a piss out of yourself, well, no one's going to say, ooh, well, I don't think you can consider it. Yeah, considerations here. It's like Soltan, he's God Emperor. You know, what's, what's the dislike? Um, yeah, very important article here. Um, yeah, the, Aubrey Gray does have his own article as well, I should point out. But his beard, Aubrey Gray's beard has, has his dedicated article. And I think, again, people say, well, where can I learn more about Aubrey Gray's beard? It's like, I have a place for you. I come in a lot of the media, so the Deus Ex uh, series and major computer games are covered in terms of thematic uh, transhumanist content. Again, lots of blue links, lots of links into links with concepts like nanotechnology and dystopias, analysis, and so on and so forth, as well as external links to more stuff. Um, we, have, uh, we have quite a few film reviews right now. We've got a kind of a complete history of transhumanist, uh, transhumanism film is covered, many of which are covered. This is an example of something covered fairly short, in a fairly short way. But again, again, you've got, um, you've got your, blue, your blue links here. So from 2001, you can find out more about post-human transhumanism, for example, and uh, what, what, does this, what, what does this mean? And you can do this. I want to talk more, more about AI in fiction, where you can browse that by, by category. And this is going to be much more detailed than you will ever find on Wikipedia. Um, I think Wikipedia's doing all right. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got you know, a couple of uh, news articles where people have cited uh, Wikipedia, whereby uh, people have said, oh yeah, if you want to go to Wikipedia, Mark Zuckerberg is a transhumanist. 
Their ideas. I've worked very hard to uh, update work with the uh, Wikipedia page and the uh, Wikipedia page to make sure, it clear that that's, that, that that he is. I do this on a number of uh, high-profile individuals too. I'm always basically updating their transhumanist credentials depending on what they're going and saying. I've also made links to a number of uh, major Facebook groups and subreddits where people are link, linking back and so on and so forth. But it's quite limited so far. And it's basically what I've been able to achieve by my by myself to drive traffic, which drives some traffic. Which Ultimately, Wikipedia is several projects. It really is doing a, doing a lot of different things. It's a place to organize politics, it's a place to organize ideas, dissect terminology, aggregate ideas, particularly do the history of transhumanism and influences. I've reached a point now that um, I need to build organizational links. I need people to, um, I'm looking for people to work with in terms of promoting the project and getting involved in the project. And I can't keep working by myself. I mentioned I do cybercrime research, which is becoming my, my main, main thing I'm doing outside side, side of this. I'm really looking for people willing to, if not contribute to the pro project, then uh, promote it to people, to people with a lot of time on their hands and interest in transhumanism. A lot of people think, oh, but I couldn't possibly write about transhumanism. I'm not an expert. I'm not, I, don't, you know, I don't have a, a I don't have, and this blog going back 20 years writing about transhumanism, so I can possibly write anything. It's like, you can. You can write a, you can write a film review. You can, you, can write, you can write a critique of the portrayal of enhancement technology in media. You can talk about the third jargon you use. You can write about your local chapter and the life extension that you're, you're doing and the, and the international links you do. You can uh, invite uh, David Wood or E.S. Downer to talk, talk at your events. You can find out who these people are. So there's a lot of things you can, you can, can do in this platform. So I'm going to thank you very much. That, that's the platform H plus P. You do check check it out and uh, do talk to me about uh, seeing what you can do to, to get involved because I really wanted to uh, want it to want it to take off and that's my, my project. Thank you very much.